Hi, and welcome to CES 2020. My name is Steve Pavoni. I'm the head of advanced threat research at McAfee. And here, we're disclosing a unique vulnerability, a security finding, in a popular garage door opener manufactured by Chamberlain. Some of you might have this device in your garage. It's called the MyQ. And it allows you to monitor the state of your garage door remotely and gives you the ability to open and close it. In addition, this device works with package couriers so that a package carrier can use the MyQ API to securely deliver packages to your garage. What we're going to show today is a unique and novel attack against the way that the sensor for the MyQ communicates with the hub for the MyQ and then ultimately communicates with the app for the homeowner. By blocking or jamming the transmission between these two devices, we can cause some state confusion in the app so that the homeowner gets improperly alerted of the state of their garage door and accidentally opens it for the attacker. I'm going to show you in a little bit more detail how this works. Here you see the sensor which is physically attached to the inside of your garage door, just using Velcro or something. What's important to note is that this, the orientation of the device itself, whether vertical for closed, or horizontal for open actually transmits the state back to the hub and ultimately to the app itself. So when the garage door is open, you can now see the state being sent, the open state being sent on our frequency graph here. This is the state being transmitted over the air. Similarly, when we close it and wait a moment, the closed state is being sent. Now this gives us a unique opportunity as an attacker by using a radio such as this battery powered one or on radio such as this uh, plugged in and connected one, we can actually block or jam and transmit that state such that it confuses the app. Now how would we pull this off? Well, as an attacker we're gonna show you, but realistically all we need to do is have this device hidden some somewhere near the garage, in the bushes, attached to the garage, or within proximity of the sensor. And we've built a technique, and engine engineered a technique that allows for just-in-time jamming. And you'll see this being shown in just a second here as I turn on our jammer. But ultimately, it means that our jamming will only ever kick on and block the signal when a signal is actually being sent by the device itself. Now we can see that I've enabled the jamming attack. And you can see on the graph behind me that there are three distinct frequencies that are constantly being used to operate this device. We've created a novel attack technique that actually jams all three of these distinct frequencies at the same time, and we've highlighted all the technical details in this, of this in a white paper we released last night at CES. In addition, you can see the state of the garage door on the application from MyQ, and we'll notice that the garage door state is actually improperly transmitted in just a moment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pretend I'm a package delivery person. I come up to the door, open the garage door using the registered app. And if you look behind me, you can see that the jamming signal just kicked on across all three frequency bands. That's the just-in-time jamming, meaning it only jams when the state sensor is transmitting its state of open. In addition, when we put it to closed, after the package is delivered securely, we've jammed during that signal as well. And by jamming during the closing signal, the homeowner's app gets the incorrect notification that the garage door is still open because it never received that proper state. Now because the garage door shows is still open, what are you going to do? You're going to click close on the app, of course, and instead what this does is it opens the garage door remotely for the attacker sitting somewhere nearby and monitoring the situation, waiting for the garage to be open. At this point, they can waltz into the garage and probably into your home if you have a connected garage with your home. Now it's important to note that pulling off an attack like this takes a pretty solid amount of skill. It takes some expensive hardware and probably a little social engineering to find a user that uses this device and also to uh, coordinate a package delivery scenario or something where you can attack it while they're away from home. Also, we've been working with Chamberlain, the vendor of this product, for over six months and that coordination and collaboration has led to an app update which they released just a couple weeks ago, which now informs the users via the app if the state signal is out of sync. And it at least allows them to visually check or to go home and validate that the door is truly open. And if it's not, you can bet they're probably gonna be calling someone. This is a great mitigation because it does give visibility to the problem and warns the user if this app is out of sync.